Hello, this is Sansa again from GamingOnLinux.com and today we shall play some Project Zomboid. So yeah, this is an early access uh, zombie survival game, isometric zombie, uh, zombie survival game. And if you've read our Twitter recently, you might have noticed that uh, Liam has been tweeting out that we are playing this game and we are actually we have been enjoying this one and Now that the newest update came out. I decided that I would finally Show it to you guys uh, in the form of a GOL cast. I also did some live streaming of this game But today I intend to properly cover this game and explain its pros and cons to you, so you can consider whether or not to buy this game for yourself. So yeah, uh, uh, at first, as you can see, we have a couple of options. We can, of course, play this game in uh, multiplayer with other people from, well, well, the internet. Or we can play survival, sandbox, last stand or beginner. I have no idea what the beginner mode does, but I imagine because it says beginner, it probably uh, starts up a regular game with maybe some uh, easier settings. Uh, I played some survival, but I had some trouble with survival in the last version. I'm not sure if they have fixed some of these issues with it, but sandbox is good enough. I ha also haven't played la uh, last stand, but these are mainly just challenges where you th these are like for example this one you uh, you're getting swarmed by zombies and you need to fight and sur <laughs> survive as long as you can and uh, uh, I imagine yeah actually both of these are basically the same thing I imagine the map might be a bit different but the this is not the meat of the game the meat of the game is actually the survival this game heavily focuses on survival. Oh, and it also made a backup of my save before it switched the world version around. This is good because my I I played this game mainly in the previous version. Now that the update came, it also converted my save file from the old save format to the new save format, and it made a backup of the save. That's awesome. So it, that means if it had screwed up something, as far as I know it didn't, but if it had screwed up something I would still have my original save. This is an important feature that many other devs should think about before they uh, release their newest updates that sometimes might break the uh, saves. So as you can see this is the intro, you get this every time you start a new game and every time you load a game. There's really nothing there, but as you can see, it said right there uh, that this is how you died. So, there's no, like, winning here. And uh, I believe that's an interesting way to look at this. Because technically, this is, a, this is a zombie apocalypse. Is there really any winning move to this other than not to play? Uh, but yeah, I'm currently inside a house. This is my safe house at the moment. I have plenty of stuff that I have uh, stored in here, like I have a pistol and some ammo. I don't dare to use that pistol because this game is more, like I said, it's it's very focused on the survival and shooting weapons causes noise. And noise means you are going to attract more zombies and more zombies means you are going to die. So it, using shotguns and pistols might be a good idea in some conditions, but most of the time you will want to use something like a baseball bat or a crowbar or something else. Something that's a bit more quiet. And then I have a bunch of other stuff like sleeping tablets in case my sleeping cycle goes completely bonkers. And I have a couple of books. This, is, this also has some uh, like RPG elements, so if I go to skills and I don't want my... Inventory management in this game is a bit weird at times. But if I check here, I have a couple of skills that I have leveled up, and uh, every time you get enough experience, you get more skill points. So I can now uh, level up my guard, which probably makes me, I guess, hear the zombies better when I'm sleeping. Sleeping is very scary in this game, because zombies can attack you at night, 
and when you're sleeping you can't really do anything about it. But yeah, uh, so as you can see I have placed sheets and curtains uh, onto every window because light also attracts zombies. So you don't want any light coming through your windows. You can of course, uh, like, you can turn on and uh, turn these lights on and off, but having those sheets there is just it just makes everything a bit more safer. And as you can see, sometimes this window is actually broken. That's because a zombie broke through into my house one night, and that's what ended up happening. I also have some food here. Uh, I still have power, because I, uh, if I check my stats again, I have only played this for seven days. And the uh, once you play this game long enough, you will eventually have water and uh, electricity cutouts. But in this case, I still have electricity and I still have water, so I can just go to the sink and I can fill my water bottles and I can drink from these if I want to. But eventually the electricity and and the water is going to cut out, and that means that all of this food that I have in here is probably going to go bad, because, well, there is no refrigeration or anything. So that means that I might have to actually resort to hunting and fishing and there's also a possibility of farming so if I have I have some seeds that I could technically use but I'm not sure how I can actually like prepare the land for farming I'm not really uh, I don't know how those fine mechanics of this game work but I know how the basics work so most of the time you will want to do some scavenging, and one thing that I would like to get, uh, like, change in this game is the uh, map mechanics, because you don't have an in-game map as far as I know. There are some websites that allow you to uh, read maps, and I'm going to open up Firefox. So, and I'm going to just check out what was the... There is a mapping project somewhere in here do, 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 do. there so I do recommend this website because this website allows you to see where you are on the well it doesn't allow you to see where you are on the map but if you do some searching around you will eventually find where you are in this case because we are uh, inside our own house we are actually here and this is an, in my opinion, this is an important component of this game because without the map you will be running around aimlessly through the, well, this huge map. And as you can see it's quite huge. And uh, scavenging when you are just guessing about stuff is not really, I guess there's your, there's a sort of a charm to the, to doing it that way, but in my opinion it's just too uh, like, it, it requires too much doing. So I'm probably going to, actually I closed the window, but I'm going to stick to the areas nearby my shelter here, because I don't want to get lost. If I get lost, then it's game over, because all of my important stuff is there. I also have my inventory, I have a couple of things here, like a water bottle, and I have some canned soup and candles, can openers, some ammo. I should probably drop off that ammo though. There's no reason to carry it around if I ho uh, if I don't have a pistol or anything. Then I have lighters. Uh, and there's a zombie in there. There aren't that many zombies out here at the moment. I'm not sure what uh, drew them away. But if we go to the more urban areas, there are going to be more zombies. I set the game so that the urban areas have most of the zombies and the sort of suburbs only have, well, limited amounts of zombies. So we're not going to run into huge hordes around here. But you can definitely, if you are in a more urban area, and especially if you've caused noise, you might end up running into some quite uh, sizable hordes. And I'm actually a bit hungry at the moment, so I should probably head for a shop that's nearby. I think it's here. I haven't completely raided that shop. So let's see if uh, if there's still something to eat here. 
My current food situation is relatively good. I still haven't touched my canned goods and I don't intend to. Also, br I broke this window recently to get inside here because the... Oh, there's some soda. That's good. Uh, and I should put this stuff into my... Uh, actually, it is in my... In my, uh, I have this big hiking bag where I'm carrying most of this stuff because carrying stuff in your like main inventory, you don't have that much space. So I, I'm, I've, uh, I'm currently using five out of eight slots on my main inventory, but I'm uh, using only ten out of twenty-two slots on my hiking bag. There's some ketchup in here. That's not really any good, really. I think these th still have something. Yeah, I have tomatoes and oranges and an eggplant but yeah this this shop is starting to run out of goods there are some chips and a cupcake I guess I could eat the cupcake let's eat all of this that should be nice yeah I'm fed now have I actually oh there's this place have I checked this properly oh yeah this is just some more food there is a crafting system also, so you need things like, uh, actually I, most of the important stuff I have back at base, but you need things like axes and saws in order to, uh, there's a bigger group of zombies here. Also I'm getting slightly panicked because uh, seeing zombies, especially when they are running around in mass like this, uh, it's going to cause panic, and that will decrease your... Okay, I'm in extreme panic right now. It will decrease your accuracy, so you will not hit as effectively. But because I am I have a baseball bat, it's not really a problem. Like, baseball bats and axes are extreme noob weapons, because they you can seriously use them regardless of your panic level. But of course, keeping your panic level down is also an important thing, especially if you are using something like firearms. Because you can't... I, I imagine you can't hit anything if you use a firearm. I haven't used any firearms because, well, obviously, there are zombies nearby. And I, I'm trying to get into this house, so these some of these windows are unlocked. So it might be possible for me to open some of these. Or at least one of them. Uh, but yeah, especially if you want to fortify stuff, you need axes you to cut down trees, and then you need saws to, uh, well, saw them, uh, saw those logs into planks. Okay, that finally opened. Oh, there, are, there are some boxes here. Nails and batteries. This is good. Batteries are useful because. Well, obviously we can use them uh, with our flashlights. And... Uh, the nails can be used to fortify houses if necessary, and they can also be used to craft things like... Uh, uh, pla uh, what was that thing? I think there's a way to craft a plank with nails. It's, an, it's a more effective weapon. And it naturally does more damage because it's not a blunt weapon like my baseball bat here. But my baseball bat does uh, good enough of a job. It's also getting... The, the condition is decreasing rapidly, so I probably need a new baseball bat eventually. And there isn't much here. But I mean, those boxes were a good find. And now that we're inside, we can just unlock this door. And now we can gain access to that house if we want to. I still haven't explored many of these houses, and some of these probably contain some nice goods, so I will definitely want to explore as many of these as possible. Also, if, if necessary, I can smash these windows in, but I'd, I'd rather not to do that, because, well, once again, it... up oh, Another zombie. Oh, okay, this is bad. I don't want to get too close and 
personal with a zombie. I'd rather keep them away. So the way the combat... Okay, that was bad. So I accidentally smashed the window. Oh, ah, I also, because I went through the smashed window, I also... I now suffer from minor bleeding and I don't have any rags, I believe. It's not that difficult to find rags. I'm not going to go through there, I'm just going to find some... Okay, some sheets and also a sweater. Okay, I'm going to rip these two sheets. Uh, well, ripped sheets. And where are those? There. And I, I can now apply a, pan, uh, a bandage. Of course, this is not the best bandage. These are naturally not clean. And you need to think about that stuff, because if you use like ripped sheets as your bandages, you might get sick eventually. And I'm currently in minor pain. Doesn't really matter, but we do need to uh, take care of that stuff. And I'm going to put the batteries and nails into my bag. I think I should probably take the golf club. It's it's in good condition and it actually the baseball bat does more damage. I'll hang on to this one for the time being. I have no idea why you died, but you have earrings and rings. Not really stuff that's necessary to me. I don't really need any jewelry at the moment. Uh, there are adhesive bandages here, so I guess having a, a a ripped sheet as my bandage wasn't all that necessary. Uh, I don't think I can use these razors for really anything. Soap might be useful. Though I haven't really found any use for that either. So I'm I, I definitely I'm probably very smelly, but I mean I'm still surviving after seven days, so I'm I'm quite quite happy. Let's check one more house. It's uh, it's one p.m. So it's not really we don't have to care too much yet. But I definitely don't want to hang out here during night. That was easy. Okay, and let's check if this house has a saw. Saw is the most important thing to me at the moment. Actually, not. No, it, uh, in this save I have a saw, but I don't have an axe. So axe is the most important thing. Frying pans, chocolate, chocolate is good, and tuna. You can also cook stuff using the frying pans and these uh, ovens and apparently also microwave ovens so it's it that's good stuff now let's take more chips and I should really have my stuff pointed at my bag because I don't want to move my stuff over from my main inventory to my yeah let's grab that Okay, I think that's about it. There isn't much here. I could take some of this, like, food. And I actually, I think I should probably take some of this food, like cheese and stuff. Okay, so there's a zombie outside here. And I guess I could do that. So now the curtains are closed. And I am a bit peckish, so let's eat... Half a ration of chips. That should keep me going for at least a while. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes these zombies also drop stuff, but that's not all that usual. Especially now that, uh, because I'm playing sandbox and I was able to, uh, Basically, I uh, set the settings the way I want to have them. I set the loot rarity to rare, which probably means that I won't run into any, like, extremely awesome stuff soon. Once again, in minor pain, but at least I'm, I'm doing fairly well. I'm not bleeding and I still have my bones intact. Okay, I think that's plenty. There are a lot of zombies out here at the moment. 
And running also is a bad idea, so you don't want to do that unless it's absolutely necessary. Because running once again causes noise, and you don't want to cause noise. You don't want to... Basically, this, this game teaches you not to make any sorts of noises at all. Especially the first couple of nights, you are extremely scared, because you have all these zombies outside, and you are not sh quite sure how you are going to deal with them, and how, how you should deal with them. And I'm going to deal with you, though. You are just being annoying. I didn't talk about the combat system too much, now did I? Yeah. So what you do uh, is, if you want to hit a zombie, you will you will uh, press Control, and then you will uh, click in the uh, in the direction you want to shoot or swing and that's about it it's it's as simple as that there's nothing awfully complex going on here beta blockers those are actually though those reduce panic but I so far I haven't found that too important and it's raining at the moment so we definitely need to get inside I've been near to death many times in this game, and it wasn't because I was, like, getting killed by zombies, it was because I was getting sick. And one thing that can very easily get you sick is rain. And it's a thunderstorm. Okay, we need to take care of this zombie, because if we don't, he is probably going to draw attention to me and my base, and I don't want these guys at in my base at all, though I'm getting damp and that's very bad. So I will probably have to find a towel. Okay, that's good. So let's get in. But what am I doing? I, sh I can easily click that. Okay. At least we're safe for the time being. I wonder if I have any towels. I think I used at least one of them. Uh, I'm going to check this. Nah, there's nothing there. Let's check these. There's a dish towel, that's good enough. I'm inside, so it, it's not really... I don't really have to worry about at, uh, anything at the moment, but it's still good to dry yourself. Though that's used the towel, so I will have to find more towels. You can't dry your towels. That's an interesting thing, but I guess it makes you more... It, it encourages more, uh, like, uh, scavenging. Also, this is my current, uh, uh, like, warehouse. Well, it's a closet, but I have a lot of stuff in here, a lot of crafting-related stuff, like hammers, nails, uh, rope, saws, actually two two saws, so that's, that's, that's an interesting thing. So let's put our stuff into this uh, container. And then I think... Well, I'm not sure what I should be doing. There isn't really anything I can do at the moment because it's raining. Okay, so I have a wet... Actually, I, I can. Oh, I think I can probably dry this. Maybe this dries out on its own eventually. Some of these things, they just you just use them and they disappear. But I, yeah, uh, it's not the same thing with towels. Like books, if I read a book, it's going to disappear, so you, you will have to get more books. But I guess that sort of makes sense, you probably won't, you probably won't want to read the same book over and over again if you have just read it. And I'm going to put my chocolate and chips into my bag. So I have a lot of food here. Probably more than I will ever need. Luckily we are not getting sick or anything. But uh, for the sake of your enjoyment, I think I will do something stupid now. So like I said, I don't want to use guns. But I haven't used them at all. And I mean, you probably want to see some gunplay, so let's 
get our rounds and our pistol and let's see if I can actually figure out how to use this gun and then we are going to see how much we screw up. So let's equip this as our primary weapon. And now I should have... What, what did I do? I equipped my rounds as my primary weapon. That's an interesting one. So can I... I can reload it. Okay, so all of these bullets are now reloaded into my gun. And I think the rain stopped. Nah, it's still raining, but it's not... There's no thunder. There is thunder. <laughs> ignore all, ignore everything I'm saying. Okay, let's find something to shoot. I, I pre I'd prefer to do this shooting stuff uh, a bit further away from my house. I don't want to attract too much attention towards my house. Okay, so that's a zombie there. Let's see how far we can actually hit. Okay, and that causes a loud, loud, loud noise. There are also some random events uh, which can do things like uh, you might hear a gunshot and that's going to attract the zombies to one way or another. And I can't hit anything because I don't have any skills at using guns. And in addition to that, I'm also panicked. I think. Okay, at least the range stopped so I'm probably going to dry in the sun soon. Okay, I finally hit the zombie, but she's not dead. Okay, and we are seeing more zombies. And we're out. <laughs> so yeah, th this is how you... This is how you don't survive a zombie apocalypse. Let's... Wait, this should be open. I guess I didn't open the door or something. Let's close the window. Zombies can very easily get through that stuff, so I'm just hoping that I have something else that I can use as a weapon. I still have that baseball bat, so I guess I could equip that in both hands in this case, because using, using a baseball bat in one hand is not too effective. Okay, so zombies can get through windows, but as far as I know, they can't really get through doors. They are quite bad at doing that. But windows are easy to get through, and they will destroy your windows if they just figure out where you are. But that's like every hacker out there anyway, so that's good. That's why we use Linux. And I'm getting drowsy. And also I'm in pain, I'm in panic, and I need food. Let's eat some cheese. So I'm guessing that's probably good enough for today. So, well actually... This is a very early time to go into bed. I'm not sure what causes that. Maybe... Hopefully I'm not getting sick. Getting sick is just, it's, it's extremely annoying. But okay, I'm, I'm going to put my stuff back into the, into the container here. Because I don't want to carry this gun around. This, uh, this gun is basically useless. The shotgun might be a bit more effective. And I might have better luck using that weapon because it has spread. But the pistol basically useless in my hands because I am I just can't hit anything with it let's actually sh see my skills maybe I improved a bit so skills uh, I got some yep I got some aiming so I have eight experience points out of 100 I could increase my uh, accuracy or my maintenance if I had some skill points, but before I can do that, I need a new level. And if I check my health, I have a dirty bandage. That's not good. I can remove. I can remove it. 
So I could technically replace it with... Uh, yeah, I'm still having some bleeding. Uh, do I have... I think there might be some adhesive bandages or something in the... In these boxes here. Uh, nah, just some toothpaste, that's not going to do much. And I do need infected. Okay, this is good. It's a deep wound, it's bleeding, infected, and... Yeah, lodged glass shards. This is why you don't want to... Uh, like, smash through windows. It's a dirty rag, so I will probably want to replace that with something else. I still have some clothes around here, so if I yeah. So if I strip these zombies that I have lying around here, I might be able to let's use that vest. Then I might be able to get a new sh uh, new bandage at least. It's not the best, so I definitely, if I had, if I was a bit closer to the pharmacy, I would get some bandages there. But in this case, I'm f way too far away. Yeah, it's a dirty bandage. So I'm probably going to get infected and I will probably, well, possibly die. Because I'm using uh, ripped sheets instead of bandages. Or even band-aids. But, I mean, I can't do much in under these conditions. And at least I have killed over 100 zombies, so that's something. But I think this pretty much shows you what this game is all about. It doesn't have any, like, real story. And it doesn't have a victory condition. It's all about your survival. You just want to prolong your... Uh, well, you, would, you just want to prolong your life and just uh, avoid death as far as you can do that. That's basically it. And instead of, like, uh, smashing through large hordes of zombies, you mainly just avoid them completely. And you try to escape from them as long as possible. But eventually you are going to meet your inevitable fate. And die, either to a sickness of some sort or... Maybe a zombie sneaks into your house at night and kills you when you are sleeping. Talking about that, let's sleep and then I'm probably going to stop the video. Uh, nine hours is probably good. I'm going to wake up in the early morning so I still have maybe a couple of minutes that I can use to maybe read something. And you mainly Mainly you, you just take care of your needs, your, you need food, you need entertainment, and you need to take care of your health, unlike I am doing right now, because I'm just giving my guy a bunch of, like, dirty bandages and stuff. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. My only gripes with this game are the somewhat clunky interface, so you have these floating windows that you used to access your inventory and your, well, th this is the loading screen. And you can also set them to be com uh, constantly open. You can still play the game on the background if you want to. The way I like to have this stuff is that I have this loot screen uh, or loot window com uh, constantly open here. I could, of course, have it like that, but that makes it a bit more clunky for me. And then I have this show up every time I hover over it. And then there are going to be like chats here and things like that. But of course this allows you to customize the way you set up your uh, your UI. So some people might like that. I personally don't because it's it's it makes everything a bit clunky. And then and dropping like if I want to drop say three of these ripped sheets, uh, what I can do is I can all either drop all of them or drop them one by one. I can't drop like, uh, like say three. So I have to drop them one by one or just drop all of them. So 
Yeah, that's a bit clunky. But overall, I, I really like this game. This is one of the best zombie survival games and probably one of the best survival games in general that I have played. And if you are a zombie fan, I, I think you will enjoy this game. It's not, like, like I said, it's not about mowing down hordes of zombies, it's more about surviving. And especially if you play this with your friends, it's going to be very interesting because you can have a squad and everyone can focus on various kinds of things. You go, uh, you go and, uh, raid all of these houses in groups. And you can also play this in PvP. Some servers are PvP, some are simply PvE, so you just fight the zombies. But you can definitely do some interesting stuff with this. And I, I do like this game. Even though it's still in early access, and it's been in early access for a good while, they, the devs have had some quite... Uh, well, they have had a lot of issues developing this game. They have had like laptops stolen with the source code and stuff. They have had uh, uh they have had like licensing zealots. We have re reported that previously on GOL. And they have had a lot of trouble dev getting this game done, but what they have here in my opinion is a very good product already. Though of course, they are still going to add more stuff. Uh, for example, they will... Uh, uh, I believe they will add uh, NPC characters to the game at some point. Uh, if, you, if I check my info screen once again, I have zombies killed and survivors killed. So, of course, killing survivors in the, uh, in the single player is not going to work because there aren't any. And if I... Uh, I've heard that the game had some form of NPC characters in previous versions, but they decided to take them out because they were uh, they were boring and they weren't that useful. They just ran around and killed the zombies. But I believe they still have plans to add them back, and maybe then we will have some more like story components to this game because at the moment it's just all about you, all about your survival, and if you play with your friends, your friends' survival too. But uh, that's about it. Uh, do check out this game. I have all the places where you can buy this game in the uh, article. So do check that uh, thing out. And, uh, th well, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in future videos. Goodbye.